Hey, so my name is James PFP. I'm a Discordian, or at least I'm a part-time Discordian, and I really don't even refer to myself as, as Discordian anymore. I'm a revised Iridian, and I've been using this particular system for uh, over three years now. Discordian means that each week has five days. Uh, Sweet Morm, Boom Time, Pungent Day, Prickle Prickle, and Setting Orange. Why they've picked these days, I have no idea. And then every year has 73 weeks. Classic Discordian has also a, an added division of five months of 73 days each. I've taken the time to overlay all of this information here on screen so you can have an idea of what it looks like in a rotational context. Also, for people who use Linux in particular, if you open a terminal and type in the command ddate, and type in ddate, get today's date. So, while the Americans are dancing around to their decadent rock and roll, and eating hamburgers from McDonald's, we'll stay under the harbor, conducting missile drills. Showing you that it is, in fact, an open source thing. In my own revised Iridian context, though, I've taken the time to reconsider how I might elsewise use a year. First thing I did differently was express the year in a linear fashion, using two variables. The first is x, the second is y, and then they're expressed side by side, x colon y. Each x colon y pair counts as a week, with uh, x being any number between 0 and 72, and a day, that's the y number, 1 through 5. After four cycles, one frame must be dropped in order to keep it synced. More on that later. An additional thing about the xy feature is that every pair, xy, x colon y returns an exact day number for where you are in the run of the year so um, in order to find what day you're on particular day you take uh, 5x and then add the y number day 9 colon 2 it would be 45 plus 2 ie day number 47 where to start the year the classic discordian system starts on january 1st mine starts on february 2nd which i call zero colon one. There is no February 29th ever on my calendar. There are three seasons. They start, uh, well the first one starts on February 2nd on this one, zero one. The second one starts sometime after that, 121 days later. The third season starts 121 or so days after that. You'll also see that I've overlaid um, a division by seven, which would divide the year up into periods of 52 days. Why are sevenths useful? If I overlay a lunar calendar, for this particular year in the Discordian system 3180. I'm going to use that year. These are the dates where the full moon will be falling on. Funny thing I noticed when I looked at the dates of all the full moons, I'm going to read them off to you here now. Starting from the one in, in um, before the new year began, which is for the Western calendar, January 15th. For mine, that's 69 threes day. The next one was 2 threes day. The next one after that was 8 threes day. The next one after that was 14 threes day. Then 20 Tuesday, 26 Tuesday. Then 32 ones day. Then 37 fives day. Then 43 fours day. 49 fours day. And then 55 threes day. And the last one will be on 61 threes day. When I do a frequency count, that's 12 full moons in the run of this uh, solar orbit. And six of them will fall on threes days. Two of them on a Tuesday or a fours day. And one on a ones day or a fives day. This is in this particular year, 3180. But the distribution is kind of neat. But you also see it uh, expressed in terms of the sevenths around the run of the year. So yeah, why are the divisions where they are? The February 2nd date falls between the winter solstice and spring equinox. It's pretty much halfway between the two. Immediately after that the first major solar event will be spring equinox. We come to the first seventh of the year. 10 Tuesday 
the second seventh of the year 24's day uh, the second season of the year begins then following that we have the summer solstice and then the third seventh of the year 31 ones day fourth seventh of the year 41 threes day fall equinox immediately after that then the third season of the year begins 51 fives day for the fifth seventh of the year it coincides with the Scordian calendar but it's offset by 73 days anyhow why should that matter that's the last day of bureaucracy and the day that follows is the first day of the aftermath so it's as if the two calendars are stepped back negative one against one another if that makes any sense to you it does to me uh, the last seventh of the year then is on 62 threes day and winter solstice follows that but yeah f the main feature of the calendar is the new year's date which is february 2nd on the gregorian system what happens in a leap year as i said already after four full cycles one frame must be dropped to keep it sync i.e. fall back a day uh, what do i mean by drop a frame and there is one other really really important thing to mention right here right now i'm probably picked the right place to do this piece of clip so the calendar uses a circle to uh, be presented like to represent the data to represent the time but circles are like idealized forms the actual orbit of the earth can't be construed as a circle more appropriately as an ellipse according to some people not as an ellipse at all but as a spiral that always tends outward and is continuing to tend outward so in what sense is like the circular representation even useful well it is useful so long as once every four orbits you drop a frame so what do I mean by drop a frame? I.E. fall back a day or live it twice whichever you'd rather you don't have to live an extra day is the point you slept one extra day in the course of four, ro of four, four orbits you might as well get to live it twice as opposed to you know getting taxed on it 